They are short but muscular and have deep chests, which may be part of the reason that they became working dogs. They are usually about 20 inches at the shoulders and have a reputation for being the cleanest of canines. Though they may have a slight aroma to them, they are known to be as fastidious as cats. Chow Chows have a double coat come in different colors like red, blue, black, cream, and fawn. Chow Chows are unique animals, even though they look like the quintessential house pet. These dogs go by the scientific name Canis lupus familiaris, and their lineage is hundreds of years old. While most sources indicate that they come from ancient China, their actual origins aren't clear. The Chinese people use these dogs as working dogs, due to their strength and stocky build. However, they have since become beloved pets for many families. These dogs has 44 teeth, while most other animals have 42 teeth. They also have quite a wide array of colors on their coat, including red, black, and blue. With a UKC classification as a non-sporting breed, these dogs have a relatively small size. Don't let the fluffy fur fool you, they are just as firm and sturdy as they are small. While males are about 17 to 20 inches, females call somewhere in the middle at 18 inches. Males are heavier than females at 45 to 70 pounds. Females, however, only reach a maximum size of 44 to 60 pounds. At their adult size. Like every other dog, the Chow Chow's scientific name, Canis lupus familiaris, has its own set of problems that are consistent with small dogs. One of the biggest issues that this dog breed faces is both hip and elbow dysplasia. This condition is a congenital issue for the breed and simply means that the joints of the elbows and hips are not properly aligned. Cruciate ligament disease is another issue among these dogs. The joint of the knee becomes unstable, leading to twisting and slipping at the joint, which is incredibly painful. This dog will show their pain by walking on only three of their four legs, limping carefully. There is a bloating condition called gastric dilation volvulus that is common amongst these dogs as well. Gastric dilation volvulus can be fatal, and it mostly impacts dogs with a deep chest, which is typical of the them. As the stomach bloats, some cases never make any progression. However, the bloating can cause it to twist. Entropion is another eye-related disease that these dogs suffer from. Also common in English bulldogs, it is caused by the eyelid rolling towards the inside of the eye, leading the hairs along the eyelid to rub against the cornea and cause severe pain. Whether a purebred or a mix, these dogs are not known to be very social dogs and are also not very outgoing. Their temperament is such that they can get very suspicious of strangers and can often get very aggressive with other dogs. For them to be comfortable around other dogs, they must be introduced to socializing concepts very early on in life. Though this disposition is what makes them protective watchdogs, families with other pets may need to put in extra work to train them to be civil. They can also often cause chaos with their alarm barking that needs to be controlled. These dogs are intelligent but are also high-headed and stubborn. They need a patient and stern owner and trainer. They are known to be very protective of their owner families and can often turn dominant if not taught their position in the families. They can sometimes be obedient in the right direction. Owning a chow chow can take a lot of work in grooming, but their diets are fairly easy to keep up with. Here are a few things that you need to keep in mind about taking care of your dog. These dogs from ancient China often eat a diet full of grains and vegetables. You could occasionally supplement their diets with fish and soy. However, you need to go easy with the levels of proteins in their diets as high protein levels could lead to skin problems in these dogs. Still, they love a mix of dry foods and wet foods alike, so the only concern is that their food has minimal grains, since the breed may have allergies to these foods. The puppies need to be given the same diet. However, you will have to feed the pups in smaller quantities at shorter intervals as their small stomachs are usually not able to digest too much food at once. These dogs are known to be fairly high maintenance and need brushing every day. Their coats need very regular brushing. They have a double coat, and it may take quite a while to remove the hair that they shed. Luckily, most groomers are quite caring and gentle with the breed. They can be bathed every week. However, you should not wait more than six weeks to bathe them, as they will have a terrible odor about them. Training these dogs is not at all an easy job, regardless of any mix of breeds. 
They have hunting traits and can often be aggressive and predatory towards other pets and animals in general, and these inclinations are hard to rid them of. They are also very independent and are high-headed, which means that these dogs cannot be forced into anything at all. They would either completely shut down or show retaliating behavior if you try to train them under harsh conditions or with punishments. The best training techniques will need to involve encouragement with positive reinforcement. Every canine needs to have regular exercise to support a healthy weight and to regulate the release of mood-balancing hormones. This movement prevents them from becoming restless. However, they don't like to be out too much. Just a couple of walks a day might be everything that they need. Their bodies are meant to be thicker, and most pups are ready to go inside within about 15 minutes. If you can get them to stay out a little longer, it is possible to get away with one walk that lasts a little longer each day.